Welcome back to Lego Wiz. So today I am going to be speed building and reviewing seven five eight nine zero Attack on the Burrow one thousand forty seven pieces from Lego Harry Potter. Uh, I think my dad got this for like one hundred twenty dollars. I'm pretty sure. Well, that will well that might not be the price in America because we got the set in Florida. Anyway, this is a really good one. Uh, yeah, so we've got eight minifigures. Um, I'm gonna dump down here. Bellatrix was strange. Then we are Rayback, Ninfadora, Ninfadora Tonks, Arthur, Arthur Weasley, uh, Ma, what is that name? I'm pretty sure it's Molly Weasley, um, Ron Weasley, Ginny Weasley, and Harry Potter. Of course, this isn't Harry Potter without a Harry Potter minifigure. Am I correct? It isn't a Harry Potter set without Harry Potter. Or it isn't a Fantastic Beasts set if there's no Fantastic Beast minifigure. Anyways. This is the full box. Um, it is a little bit damaged because um, my mom had to cut the box. So um, she could... Um, so we could carry the bags and instructions safely home, but she but she saved the front of the box. The back of the box she threw it away. Um Wildlife includes Hedwig, Harry Potter, Snowy Owl. I'm pretty sure this is Errol, I guess. Errol, I guess. I think it might be someone else. You know, with this character, this owl is, um, let me know if you know how. Um, there's even a piggy, piggy, piggy. And this is the rest, you can see, uh, Harry Potter, um, fighting with Fenrir, and Ginny going through the fire. Yeah, there's a little fire side build, which is really, which is really awesome. Um, here's the back of the set. It looks like up here we got some kind of balcony. Um, this looks like an owlery or something. Looks like some kind of attic. Then we've got Ron's bedroom. I'm pretty sure this is Arthur's and Molly's bedroom or like the bedroom that Ron shares with Harry. And over here is Jenny's room. Um, and down here is the dining area. This is the dining area, and um, one thing you you don't you can't see is actually this pointer area opens up to open up the lounge room. I will show you that once this is done, but it doesn't show you that. It does show you on the back of the box, but we don't we don't have it, so that's kind of bad. Anyways, you can see the Harry Potter logo that is on most Harry Potter sets, including Hagrid's Hut, the Hungarian Corntail Triwizard Challenge, or Challenge. Um, yeah, this is basically on a lot of Harry Potter sets. It's a lot. A lot. I mean a lot. Every Harry Potter set has that logo. And then, this is what's inside. We've got the instructions with some stickers. And I just noticed that there's this number, 6323250. If you know what this, if you know what that means, let me know if you know how. And then we got a back full of face plates, which is already open because I don't think my scissors can open them. But let's see what base plates we have. So it looks like this is some kind of house colored base plate. 
Another house colored base plate. Another one. This looks well. Th well, these are for mostly the house, but the green one is for the lounge room and the pig pen. So these are our base plates, and I can tell we're probably starting with this base plate because. Um, you might have seen that on on other on other speed build and review videos of this set, including on LEV toys or like um uh, with Jim Haber or Jeremy Habert, I think. I don't totally remember, but that's my assumption. So so I take this out because we're gonna start building on it. We've got bag one, and this is the lounge room, the pig pen, and Molly and Arthur. I can see with their heads. There's their, their, their heads. There's their torsos. Torsos. So, I, so, um, it looks like, let's open the manual first so we can see what we're building. And the first bag to make sure. I thought it might be the pig pen and lounge room. Or, and I'm pretty sure it is also the. What is it? Um, like, the, like the main base of the other stuff. So, a very thick manual. I love that. I love thick manuals. Yours might not be like um very thick because um like look like once it was coming to you or once you were carrying it back home, it might have like gone damaged and this might have extended I and mean, yeah. Anyways, you might you might have what I have, even though this does have a little bend. Because I got this from the Lego store and, and it was in a plastic bag. I also got this sticker sheet is just awesome. It's awesome. I love that. And here looks like we've got some stained glass. Here's some more trash. Um, yeah. Let's, let's see what we've got in that one. Open this manual. When it's too thick, it's it's kind of like hard to open. So it looks like bag one builds the big pen, lounge room, and it looks like sort of a dining room kind of thing. Then bag two builds. It looks like it makes more of the wall structure and a complete dining room. Um and the lounge room, except there's no roof. From bag three, it looks like it's building the roof. Then, then bag four builds Jimmy's room and more of the roof. Bag five, it looks like it builds all the. It looks like it builds the room that Ron and Harry share the bedroom, and um, where Molly and Arthur sleep. Then over here, then back six, it looks like it, com it completes that floor more, which was the balcony and Ron's room, and also the bed, because in the back five, it only builds that um, green chair that Molly does her knitting. I'm not really sure if that's knitting. It's called knitting. I, 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 if you know how it's called, let me know, but... I know it is probably knitting. If you know, if you know, let me know if you know how. Anyways, so back one also builds um, Molly Weasley and Arthur Weasley. Back two builds Tonks and Ron. 
Bag three doesn't build any minifigures. Bag four builds Harry and Ginny. Bag five and six don't build any minifigures. And um, last two minifigures in bag seven, Bellatrix the Strange and Fenrir Greyback. So let's get started. Uh, this is not going to be a usual speed build because um so if you saw my video where i where i speed build and review the ambulance you will know i stopped in separate like sections to show you what i have done like this it's mostly just the house build and the fire so i'm just gonna do this in one big speed build uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the speed build uh, now I'll turn speed. So, um, here's the complete 75980 attack on the burrow from like Harry Potter. Um, it is a fantastic set. And now, let's check it out. So starting off, we have the minifigures um, up here. Set to be the most powerful Death Eater, Bellatrix the Strange, um, Weasley Father, um, Arthur Weasley, one of three brothers, Ron Weasley, um, the boy who lived, Harry, Potter, Child Scarer Werewolf, Fenrir Greyback, um, Only Girl of the Weasley, Ginny Weasley, what's going on with her hair, um, the first, the first version of the of the minifigure, Ninfadora Tonks, which is the first Ninfadora Tonks made, and um, you're missing one minifigure. I do not see it. Where is it? Jenny. No, we've already shown Jenny. No. Um, no. 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 Where? What? Where oh and and Weasley mother Molly Wobbles or Molly Weasley also known as Molly Weasley and those are the minifigures. Um, 
Let's pick them all up here. Bye bye, mini figures. Okay, so we've got the mini figures out of the way. Let's check out the building. Before we check out the building, so this is one key part of the flamey part. There's like a whole flame, flamey circle around the set. But this is the only flame that comes. And these middle flames are on hinges. So let's um take Fenrir Gray back. Let's put him back here. And then let's take Harry Potter. So with Harry's wand, the middle flame on hinges, he can use magic to boom. And then he went through the flame and kicked Fenrir Gray back's face. And then we were right back into gone forever. So that is a little flame piece. Now, let's put that aside. And let's check out this area. Where should we start? How about down here? So this is the pig pen. Oh, this looks like a, actually a swamp. Um, here are the windows. This is on a hinge, but we will open that up later. Um, this opens up. And Piggy! I love my Piggy! So, he can honk around. And yeah, that's really it. We've got some swamp bits. And here we've got some windows, stained glasses, these Z border type things. And some roofing. But. The interesting part is this area. This is the lounge room of the Weasleys. So let's start off back here. Um, so over here we've got some logs. Over here we've got the fireplace. And on the side of the house there is a hinge. And it's right now like a regular fire, like red. Oh, well, I don't know what color fire is. But... The, you can turn the knob. Really? This is a little broken. <laughs> and there is the green flames. This is the flu network. Or how it's called. Then over here we've got a table with a Hogwarts invitation probably. And this is the flu powder. So you throw the flu powder inside. And then, and then, and then you say where you want to go, and then it, and then it transports you with, with the green flame. But the mini figure doesn't fit. It's a little too small for a mini figure, so a mini figure won't fit. Anyway, there's an, a bookshelf. And way back in the corner is a unicorn in the, in the Forbidden Forest and a fee, and the phoenix. I, I have I don't think you can see it, but there are there. I can sort of see them. Let's run to this side. Over here we've got a comfy couch. A couchy. Couchy. A very nice colorful build. Uh so a candle type thingy. Uh a vase, a lamp, and some kind of green bottle. Let's and then basically we've got brickwork, window, more red roofing. Uh, yeah, that is really it. For the outside structure, let's go on to the most detailed and awesome part of the set. The inside. So I'm going to go to the side so I can see what I'm doing. I'm here. Hey. Okay. So let's start from the bottom. Um, over here we've got the clock, and um, this is the clock that Molly uses, so she knows where every member of the family is locked. Is um, this is the dining table and colorful chairs. We've got a white, brown, green, yellow, brown, and blue chair. We've got some eggs, a juice jug, some coffee mugs, some waffles, and some Worcestershire shots, I guess. Let's open this up. 
Um, it looks like we could have some plants. Maybe they're actually mandrakes. If you don't know what a mandrake is, it is a plant. You pull it out of the vase, and then they scream. And once they're back in the pot, they are silent. So quite noisy people. Got a more bookshelf and looks like a chair. Um, probably we can put Molly in here. Oh, Molly. Hello. Anyways, and this side is the entryway. Got a brown door, which opens up to the inside of the set. And then we basically got more roofing, a window, and um, I guess this cool wooden structure. Um, then over here, I'll think got a sink, an oven, uh, some faucet type thingies. Uh, two type of spices look like some red spice and some green spice. Um, then this green bottle. Then I think that the kids drawing with a cauldron going on fire, shooting out stuff. Here we got more roofing. I did not have the most fun putting together all this roofing. That was kind of boring, but it makes a great look. Over here we've got Ginny's room. So over here we've got a chair for Ginny. Um, this looks like an interesting table because there's a brush and a mirror. Up here there's a broom, and I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some kind of blue picture of the black, of the crazy sisters. I guess they're called. Then we've got a window and Ginny's bed. Up here. Is the area is like um Molly and Arthur's area. Like this is their bed, which is really, really awesome. And then some kind of basket. I'm pretty sure that's the red riding hood basket. And then um Molly Wobble's chair where she can sit. And also we've got some kind of weaver. And this actually is always wise. And then up here, this is, looks like Ron's room, which has a bed, a stairs. And back here looks like some kind of picture. And then we walk up the stairs, and looks like we got a balcony with a broomstick. There are actually two broomsticks. Another one over here. I guess this is like Quidditch broomsticks. Or maybe just sweeping broomsticks. Like Quidditch is the Hogwarts game. Their most, like the favorite game. And then the very top floor, the Owlery. Yeah. If you know how to pronounce it, let me know. If you know how to let me know. But I'm guessing it's called the Owlery. So up here, I really like the, these molds of the owls. So over here we've got the Weasley's Owl, the Brown Owl, Errol, or maybe it's just, just some kind of brown owl. I'm guessing it's Errol. If you know who this owl is, let me know if you know how to let me know. <laughs> then we've got Hedwig. Um, yeah, this is the newer mold of Hedwig. With the outstretched wings and the older head with molds that have the wings folded in like arrow. I wonder if they're gonna make arrow with outstretched wings one time or whatever this brown owl is. Anyway, you can place the owls in. And we're back up here on the chimney. And we'll be we will be back with another video very soon. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this this speed build and review video of 75980 Attack on the Burrow from Lego Harry Potter, The Wizarding World. Uh, yeah, this is a really, really colorful and awesome set. The outside isn't the car forest, but the inside is definitely colorful, super colorful. Um, yeah.
I hope you enjoyed this speed build and review video. And I'll catch you back on another video. What am I going to do? Probably. Probably I'm going to do an action, like an adventure video with the set. Probably. Maybe I'll do something else. But that's... I guess. I guess. Got it. I guess. Um, now let's wrap up this video. Bye. And I'll see you in the next video.